This segment has to do with the knowledge center, management dashboard, and also reporting. So first of all, if you go to the knowledge center, which is the last tab in P, you can see step-by-step -step procedures where you can go through a couple of different steps here. Uh, think of these as slides with highlights. Uh, read through the text to understand what it is that uh, you're looking at. Uh, I will walk you through step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to use the tool. You can also go to basic economic uh, lessons where in case you're interested in what a net present value is, internal rate of return, everything is all there as well. Or you can click on getting started videos, which is where you are currently. Um, click on any one of these links to uh, view a you know anywhere between a five minute and a thirty minute video to get you very quickly started. Um, that's the knowledge center. You can also click on help and click on about to see the version that you look you're, you're working with in terms of ROVP and uh, the version that's currently being recorded is twenty fourteen uh, subversion D. You can also click on extras or user manual. User manual just goes through, uh, you know, detail 150 pages worth of um, text that goes through the, the use of the tool. But you can also click on extras. And what extras does is when you um, open it up, it will take you to the uh, installation folder. And you can see some visual guides and tips and tricks, custom tabs, Excel linkings, uh, quick getting started modules, and so forth. So hopefully that would be uh, helpful to you. You can also, um, after going through the Knowledge Center and also getting started videos, click on the dashboard. And assuming that you've run the model, you've run the simulations, the tornadoes, the option valuation, portfolio optimization, you click on dashboard, and give it a couple seconds because it is looking for all the data that uh, we've run previously. And uh, what you can do is add as many dashboards as you want. Save them, you know, here by clicking, putting a name in and clicking save as. But first, choose the you know, materials that you want to be uh, shown in terms of the quadrants. There are four quadrants in the dashboard. So it could be a chart. And if it's a chart, select the chart that you're interested in. Uh, if it's a grid, a data grid, choose the results of the grid. And again, you know, save this. And once you're done, you can click on view dashboard. You can save as many dashboards as you want and select the dashboards that you've chosen and you will see the results in this case. So just make sure that uh, before you go to the dashboard, make sure that you've run all the models, you've done the uh, plant anal analytics, your tornadoes and your simulations and your results and so forth. Otherwise, the dashboard might come out empty because you haven't run any uh, you know, of your analytics clearly. The other thing that you can actually do as well is, um, let's say in any one of these worksheets, you see this copy screenshot or, or copy icon. If you click on that, you can go to something like uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, um, create a blank presentation. You can do anything you want on here. Um, and say, if you need a screenshot of that, you just paste it in and that's your screenshot. Then you can, of course, resize it and do a file print to whatever size paper and uh, settings that you want. So it will take a screenshot of whatever it is that you're looking at. That's what this uh, copy screenshot actually does for you. There's also an Excel button here. It says Extract to Excel. If you click on that, you can extract all the options um, that's on here. Say in this example, the 10 options. You can extract only the current option, which means option one, all the subtabs, or the current subtab, which is in this uh, view, the input assumptions. Okay? So that is exactly the same thing as going to Report and clicking on Report Configuration. If you go to Report, what it does is the report will run a report of everything as compared to clicking on this uh, Excel, Extract to Excel icon, which will only extract wherever you are. So in this case, it could be just the options. So let me, seeing that it's uh, very similar in nature, I'll show you the report. Uh, if you click on the uh, report, by default, it's select all, which means it will run through everything, all the options, your portfolio analysis, tornadoes, scenarios, and all that. So if you have something that you have not run, you might want to just uncheck it, of course, or just leave it all checked and see what happens. Now, if you have not run an analysis, the report might come back empty, clearly, because there's no results to report. So assuming that we've run sufficient uh, analytics uh, in this example, all I need to do is just click on Run Report. Now, very importantly is once you click on Run Report, take your you know, hands away from the keyboard and the mouse, let the computer take care of everything. You see things are blinking on screen. What it's doing is it is uh, taking uh, the results, it's capturing the results, and it's putting into a Microsoft uh, Excel report. 
So we'll give it a couple of seconds. Uh, typically, it might take a, a minute or two. If you have a lot of options, a lot of models, it might take you know three or four minutes and so forth. So we'll hang in there and wait and see what the results look like. And there you have it. The uh, report has been generated in this example in about four minutes or so. If I click OK, you will see Microsoft Excel um, expand and uh, in a nicely formatted set of reports. So for example, option one, input assumptions, uh, pertain to option one's input assumptions in this case. And this is, the data is actually dumped into uh, Microsoft Excel. Here's your option name, ERA, ERC, and so forth. Um, you can also do a simple file print, and you can see the print preview. Everything's set up and uh, in, a, in a nice uh, paradigm for printing. Now, clearly, you can feel free to change the numbers, the font, the format, and anything that you need on here, because this is a live Microsoft Excel uh, worksheet. Um, with the uh, reports. So here are input assumptions for all the options. Um, then we have the escalate and depreciate on cash flows to a FPD model for all the options as well that are downloaded. And here's your cash flow model. Again, nicely formatted. Uh, you can view this for multiple years. Um, then we have uh, all the options that's on here. Economic results. Zoom in, zoom out as you see fit. Uh, print as you uh, see fit as well and make any modifications as required. Then you have your portfolio analysis where you have multiple options that you're comparing side by side by side with the charts. Um, you also have your options, uh, your tornado analysis on your uh, different options, various options, scenario results, scenario tables. Um, here's your risk simulation, percentiles, mean, median, mode, standard deviation, the charts, overlay, simulation analysis alternatives, your um, dynamic sensitivity, option strategy trees, option valuation results, sensitivity on the options, scenarios on the options, um, the optimization set of results as well, uh, optimization grids, and, uh, and so forth. So again, everything is nicely formatted uh, for printing, and it's you know saved here as a file. It says FPD report 2014, and here's the uh, year, month, and date, and also the time. So in this case, 11.01 um, a.m. and 19 seconds. So you can see the exact date and the time itself. Uh, the recommendation is, of course, you know, do a save as and save it to wherever you need to. Um, it's typically saved as uh, part of the program file. So see program wherever you installed the software. Um, or, you know, again, feel free to copy it, paste it, cut it, or uh, save as to any location that you desire. Uh, very, very easy to use, and that is your reporting capabilities. Just remember, hands off um, your keyboard and your mouse when you run the report.